Morning guys. <coughs> Excuse me. I was planning on going to CrossFit this morning. I woke up at like quarter past eight to my alarm and my drums from yesterday. Too bad. It was a crazy workout yesterday. So um didn't go, but as a result of that, I'm gonna make myself edit all the vlogs and get back up to date. You know, if I'm gonna not be at CrossFit, I might as well use the time properly and actually get up to date with them. Um yeah, I find, I think what I actually need to do for CrossFit, especially while I'm just doing, while I'm paying for the three classes a week, I reckon, like the DOMs were getting better and that's because we were going consistently, but I think we only went one time last week and maybe two times the week before that. So we've been getting a little bit um, more inconsistent with it, but I want to maintain that and regain that consistency. So I think from next week, what I'm going to do is actually really plan out what <laughs> um, sorry, my friend sent me a message. Uh, plan out what like workouts I'm going to go for because I can, like with the exception of when I plan it for after work, if I get overtime, or whatever. But that's pretty rare. Like only like once a month or something, once a fortnight where I do overtime. So I'm gonna plan it, preferably to go before work. But like for instance, for next week, I have Monday off, so I could definitely go to a class on Monday and then. I'm pretty sure on Wednesday I'll be walk, working a morning shift and even if I'm not, even if I'm working an afternoon shift, I can go in the morning. So I'm probably going to plan on going Monday, Wednesday and Friday next week. I think this is what I want my plan to look like next week and I'm just t telling you guys because I want to talk it through. I think I want Monday, Wednesday, Friday CrossFit and Tuesday, Thursday, maybe Sunday um, long run. So give myself a complete rest day on Saturday and do something every other day. I think that's a really good plan and I think I need to start actually fucking being a big girl and fucking sticking to a plan <laughs> because I think that's how I'm going to maintain my consistency. So yeah, I might um start making use of the calendar thingy we've got on our fridge so that I can actually lock stuff in and that actually works out really well because one rest day a week's all I need and it's a Saturday so generally on Saturdays I'll probably spend some time with Emily like Maybe you want to spend some more time going for walks and stuff like that. Anyway, I'm going to get to editing the vlogs. This little princess has still not warmed up to us. She still gets quite scared of us. Um, we're getting there. It's our fourth day with her today. You're a beautiful girl and I love you. And we will break you into being our favourite little puppy. You're already my favourite little puppy. But you'll want our pats and our love eventually. When you're not scared anymore. She's the, just the cutest. Um, I, I love her so much and I'm so glad we got her. I was telling people at work about her yesterday and they all think she's really cute. Obviously, they're not going to tell me I have an ugly dog, but <laughs> you're beautiful, mag dog. <sighs> Ending time. I'm home from work now. Got a bit done um, at work, which is good. I've still got another three days to go because I'm working six in a row. I'll get less done during my next two shifts, but I'll try and get a bit done. Um, it was a good day at work. I enjoyed it. Um, just really grateful for all of my work colleagues. They're good peeps. I like them. Um, but yeah, that's about all I have to say, I think. It's almost bedtime. Little Mags is still just in her bed. Hasn't eaten any of the treats we gave her today. Um, she hasn't really gotten a whole lot better. Oh, actually, you know what she has? I'm not giving her enough credit. First couple of days, she was terrified, shaking in the bed, staring at us the whole time because she needed to be aware of what we were doing at all times because she was that scared. Now she sort of just ignores us until you approach her and if you approach her, then she growls at you. Like right now, she's got her eyes closed, even though I'm talking, even though I'm in the room with her. She's not shaking. She falls asleep with us in the room nowadays. She feels safe enough to fall asleep. So I just gotta keep on trying with her, keep loving her, keep giving her that patience. And eventually she'll be coming to us for cuddles and I cannot wait for that because I cannot wait to rub her little hairless belly. She's so cute. Look at her laying over there. Little cutie pie. I love you, Megs. <laughs> she opened her eyes and said, I love you. <laughs> anyway, that's all I have to say. Thank you for watching. Hope you're doing well. Take care and I will see you tomorrow. I start at nine, so yeah, I have to wake up early. Woo! Bye.